Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Mark Talks Football. And today we are back with Reading FC. We have played one game since the last time you've been with us, and by God, has it been a good game. But we have got three game episodes today where we'll be playing Chelsea and Liverpool and Manchester City, all of them in the top four, all of them vying for a Champions League or Champions of England. This is going to be one of the hardest episodes I have managed, and it's going to be very, very difficult. So hopefully you guys are able to stick around. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you like it and comment as well. reason why I ask you guys to do this every episode is because if the more people like it, the more people interact in the comments, the more people that will be able to see this video and we can grow a community and everyone can talk to each other in the comments and have chats and we can grow this community more and more. So, before we get into it and before I blabber on anymore, let's get into it, boy! Right, we play Southampton, beat them 4-1. Oscar Pereira scored two, Nicholas Jackson got two. Um, they got one goal near the end as well, but we outperformed them, outplayed them. Meatloaf did an absolutely extraordinary cross for Nicholas Jackson's second goal, or first goal. I can't remember which one it was, but I know Nicholas Jackson got on the end of it, and it was absolutely superb. Right, I have signed a new contract with Reading. It is a three-year extension to the current one I'm on. I am getting 22 grand a week, 12, 12 grand after tax, uh, where I am here for another three years. As I said, we do not finish the save. We do not end this save until we have won the Champions League with Reading. And once we've won the Premier League and Champions League with Reading, maybe other cups as well, with the FA Cup and Carabao Cup in it as well, we will end this stream, uh, not stream, this, this series, and then we will be focusing onto a, another one leading into FM24 if we do it. Because the reason why I'm getting really confident is we are currently third in the league. We are three points behind Chelsea and we are seven points ahead of West Ham who are fifth. So we could be in Champions League football next season. <laughs> oh, this is madness. This is absolute fucking madness. First season in the Premier League and we're top three. I don't know. I do not know. I'm loving it. Because I fucking hate losing. And us actually doing well makes me feel we've got so many players going on international duty. Ghana, Nigeria, Belgium, France, Republic of Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Wales, Italy. 25 players are going on international duty. Love it. Get some more exposure for the Royals. Right, we are playing Chelsea. We are starting off balanced. We're away from home. And I want us to go on the front foot. How long is he still up for? He's still up for the season. He's gone. <laughs> He'll be back for next season. Hopefully he doesn't become a reoccurring injury. But Nicholas Jackson's back on form at the time we needed him. Femi Aziz needs to up his game a little bit. But at the same time, he's creating so much. As well as Oscar Pereira. And after six games, he's created seven chances. Seven games, seven chances. That is a great return. And Nick doing 17 chances created. We are creating chances. And we're scoring. It's not like we're not scoring. Just wish we scored a bit more. I wish sometimes... I know we beat Southampton 4-1 and we beat Man City in all. But I wish sometimes that we would just kill games off easier. But we do go hiding sometimes. And that's a bit of a worry. Right. Luis Enrique versus myself. This is going to be good. Gabriel Barbosa. That was a player I was looking at last season when we were in the championship to buy him, or a few seasons ago. I can't remember to see if I could get him, but he's now leading the line for Chelsea. Yeah. Three youth players on the side. Loving it. Fuck. 
Three points behind Chelsea. How many players in this Chelsea... Right, let's stop. How many players in this Chelsea team are playing for them in real life now? Okay, as of July the 24th, how many players? So, he's gone to Saudi. I think he's going to come back. He's injured, but he's there. He's not. He is. So, that's two. Three. Kante, no. Fernandez four. No. No, he's gone out on loan. And no. Five. So, one, two, three, four. Five, maybe, if you count him. So, five players out of that star 11 are in this Chelsea team last season in real life. Right. I need to stretch. Let's go. Playing in the black today. Come on. Let's encourage them. Nothing is happening. 20 minutes in, Chelsea are dominating. Not possession-wise, but they are dominating shots. Collins has it out and mount. Gets it away. Chilwell closes, swings it in. Oh, my God. They swing it back post. Mounts there. Keeps it in. Skips past the player. Comes across. Great save by Conor Boy's car. But Gabriel Babosa. Nah, Babosa. Should have done better. Back post, as it will. Nicholas Jackson on the counter-attack. Hits it down the line to Emi Aziz. Could not go anywhere. Great defending and recovery there by Chelsea. Right. If it's not working, go more defensive. That is my theory on that. And um, we're not even shooting now. Do we go positive then? Yeah. Fuck it. We're not meant to be in this position anyway, so what's to lose? What is there to lose? Nil nil, haven't had a shot yet. Where the fuck's the shooting? Not happy with what I've seen. We need to be fucking shooting. Reese James is now. Oh, another player that now is still at Chelsea in real life has come on. We still haven't had a shot. Still nothing's going on. Hey, 60 minutes is taking us to have a shot. Right, we need to change some things because it's not working. Deli Ali can come on. Nick is booked. I don't trust that. Meatloaf can come on. And Salvio is going to go up front. Berg. Try to put it on some cheese. Good pressing there by Reading to really try and push them back. They've done really well there. They've done, Chelsea have done well to keep hold of it. Lovely ball to Darto, chips the keeper, goal, 1 0 Chelsea. After 60 minutes, Chelsea have gone into the lead and are looking likely to be the winners of this. It's fine, I'll take the changes. We need to make changes anyway. As again, we're not here to win the league. It would be if we won the league in the first season, I'm quitting everything. I have completed the game with the first season of the Premier League winning the league. And I don't think we will have this good of a season next year. I just don't see it. Because we will also have Champions League football as well. We will have more games to play. Thank you. And nothing's working. Chelsea have really nullified us in this game and they've done really well. Let's make a... I don't know how many changes I've made. Four. Let's just make one more. Yeah, they have really nullified us in this game. Fair play to Chelsea. Much better team. There's nothing to complain about this. More, they've had more passes completed. Better crossing. Tack, we've got better tackles. They've won better headers. All right, could this be the only... 
Salvio. Salvio. Fucking come on, Salvio. Beautiful finish there by Salvio. Gets in the back of the 95th minute. We're winning the league. I would love it if we beat them. Four shot. We have effing them by a mile. Well done, lads. Absolute brilliant fight to the end. That's what I like to see from this fucking team. Fighting to the end. Why is the Cambridge manager watching me? Oh, is it Harrison Murphy Campbell? He ain't one of mine, is he? Uh, Chelsea. Yeah, fuck it. I don't care. Right. We're now going... I'm going to skip the quarterfinal because I don't really care. It's the FA Cup. I'm more concentrating in the league. But if something great happens in that, I'll let you guys know. And I will see you guys if anything marvellous happens. If it's halfway through the, the Norwich game and it's going absolute mad, then I we will come back in. But we will see. Right, I'll see you guys when I see you. Right, we are in the second half of the FA Cup quarterfinal. And in your heart goes pardon. Great run, none. I've got Carly Minogue going off from my ear. And Pablo comes in to make it 3 1. They scored one of the. It was Brexit football. They punt over the top. And this game's unrealistic because Elise run in and. What a performance he's done, by the way. Absolute three assists in this game. That is the player we've been looking for. And it's looking like the confidence. 66% possession we've had in this game. 13 shots. Liverpool are out of the FA Cup quarterfinal after losing to Brighton. I wanted to come back in. I felt bad not playing it because it is the quarterfinal. So we are going to have three and a half games in this episode. Oh, pardon me. Absolutely superb. Right. Ten minutes left to make sure we are FA Cup semi-finalists. That is a sentence I never thought. Bamford's come on for them, which means we've won. Let's make a last sub. Can I make one more sub? Yeah. Nicholas Jackson getting the goal. Right, before it ends, I want to show you the goals. So this was Nicholas Jackson's goal after five minutes. And just watch this ball. Over the top, back post, header, goal. Beautiful play there by Sitic. And then I brought Pablo Torre on at half time, And then look, through, boom, bottom corner, making it 2-1. But I want to show you Michael Elise's goal that he scored against us. Just watch this pump of the ball right here. Poor defending. Elise's in and buries it. Celebrates against us. Bit disrespectful there. And then as you saw as you come in, the third goal we scored in this game. Setic with a lovely run. Pulls it back for Pablo to make it 3-1. End the game. We are FA Cup semi-finalists. We didn't have done it before because I was there. Against Arsenal, who are we going to be playing in the FA Cup semi-final? And when's it going to happen? That's the question I want to know. We're on international break now. Uh, and we, I will probably let you know. Um, and the next game, because the next game is meant to be Manchester City. Absolutely fucking, or Liverpool, I can't remember which one it is. Uh, next up. Ah, so we will play the next game, the next two, Liverpool, Man City, and then the next game we'll play another three, FA Cup semi-final, West Ham, Middlesbrough, and then the final final episode of me recording, I mean by that, will be Everton, Norwich, and Aston Villa. So we've got a lot of games coming up. Right, and then we will now skip over to the Liverpool game. Right, part two of Mission Please Do Not Get Too Fucked. We are playing against Liverpool. And they're all starting to get to know each other, the strikers. We're near the end of the season. January come along. I wanted to fuck it up. So I did. 
And that's what they're just trying to get each other and learning each other what they need now. So, let's get into Living Peel and try to beat them. What are you saying? What are you saying? I don't do if, but some maybe, so if you absolute. Scouts done for the day. Right. Oh, they just are such a good team. Uh, that's our team. I don't want uh, nah, that's our team. What have they got? Uh, this just shouldn't be allowed. But who cares? They're above us by one point. We are four points behind Chelsea to win the Premier League. If we win the Premier League, I don't know what to do with myself. I really won't know what to do with myself. I will lose my shit. Jesus, Liverpool are dominating us by possession wise. We've got a couple of shots off. <clears throat> a long ball into Pepe. Get it out. Femi Winnie, she prick. Well done, Kelvin. Lovely ball over top. Nicholas Jackson wins it. Heads it backwards to Ryan. Allison was miles out. We are 1-0 up after 20 minutes. Diaz with a long, hopeful ball over the top. Jackson wins it because of Allison's mistake. And Ryan Tetit, ch -ch 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 Ryan scores to make it 1-0 after 20 minutes. Type thing. Diaz, Collins, Nick, Pereira. Uh... Ryan swings it into Jackson's been fouled by by Van Dyke. We could be going 2 0 up against a team that's challenging. It's a penalty. Diaz missed his last one. Can he redeem himself? Yes, he can. 2 0 after 25 minutes against Liverpool. Is amazing work here. Hmm. Robertson, Bedic, Virgil, Pepe, intercepted again, but Mo Salah's there. Enzo gets it. Inter in fucking interception galore at this point. No one could pass more than three passes there. Oh, my God. This match has got every highlight known to man, and it might as well put full match version on. I wonder if there's people out there that do that. If you do, fair fucking play. Pepe. Oh, Tammy Abraham should have scored that. Oh. They like that pass over the top. Liverpool must be playing quite a high defensive line then. Because play teams don't do that. Oh, what was that, CBC? You can't be passing like that. Aziz wins it back. Through ball to Nicholas Jackson. Pass it back to Kelvin. Where's he going to go with it? Back to Collins. Diaz. Through back to Aziz. Nick. Ah, oh, heads it back to fucking Allison. It just feels like we're going to get screwed 3-2 now. I don't know why. But it, it does. Aziz. This is a goal. If this is not a goal, this highlight is for no reason. Oscar Pereira makes it 3-0. Oh, by the way, Oscar Pereira has won European Golden Boy. I don't know how, as he's Colombian, but because he's probably playing in Europe, I'm guessing that's what it is. But he has won the Golden Boy. A guy that cost a million. How much is he worth now? Because Oscar Pereira is just an absolute fucking beast. He only cost 1.5 million. 1.3. Stats are unreal, by the way. Just everything about this man I love. If I can get... He's another player I'm... I, it, okay, so Nicholas Jackson is a player I think I might keep forever. Oscar Pereira is another one. Femi Aziz is another one. Kelvin and that. If you look at the bottom right... And Charlie Savage will just be in and around the team. If you look at the bottom right of the thumbnails, those are the players I want to keep around forever. 
I need to find a picture of Oscar Pereira. I haven't found one yet. Well, I haven't even looked, to be fair. I'll probably look in between these episodes. But. Back out to Mo Salah. Mo Salah. Back to Tammy, but intercepted. There's Ryan. Back to the keeper. Fucking terrible pass. What was that? Gifts it to Tammy Abraham. That was awful. You don't do that on a football pitch. Especially not against these. Oh, no. We've lit the front doors open. I play football manager so much that I know get screwed. And I have like, even if I'm 3 0 up, I have fears. Aziz Jackson, 4 1. Nicholas Jackson's with his 19th goal of the season. Makes it 4 1 against Liverpool. How Chelsea do? Chelsea are drawing against Newcastle, which means we are two points behind. <sighs> if we won that game, we could be joint top. That is madness to think, by the way. I haven't done anything. Like, I haven't edited the players. I haven't done anything. I haven't cheated. I don't cheat. I hate it. I don't do it. And to find a tactic that in the first season of the Premier League has made us go second with one point. They are losing two, one point behind Chelsea with I don't know how many games we've got left is Absolute madness. I don't. This this tactic is the greatest tactic I have stumbled across. I didn't stumble across it. Let's be honest. I found it, and and there's this guy RDF Tactics that you, that come up with it and talked about Flamens in Brazil and wanted to implement what he did, and I use it and. It works. I can't create tactics myself. I'm not great at tactics. I'm good at transfers. Um, 4-2. I'm okay at transfers. I'm good. Um, but I'm good at youth. I'm good with youth. And I will 100% back myself with that. Lower the tempo a bit. Time waste like a fucker. It's 4-2. Come on. Five minutes added on. Lovely play out the back. Nowhere to go, though. There we go. Meatloaf to Pablo. Diaz. Deli. Savage. Out wide to Ruth. I'm going to call him Ruth, I think. Nicholas Jackson comes in. Cross it back. Deli Ali should have finished that. Buried that. But they are straight back out. Back down the line, Mo Salah, trying to counter the counter. Gets past him, swings it back post. Oh, this just feels like a goal. It feels like I'm going to have a Conor for the last five minutes off the crossbar. All right, where is he? Stop putting capitals on you, prick. Staying. Come on, end the game. Chelsea are now drawing with Newcastle, scored two late goals. And that is absolutely phenomenal. That victory, 4 2 against Liverpool, um, is. I don't know how else to describe that as utterly fucking ridiculous. Right, we do have Brentford in the FA Cup semi-final, so we will be playing that next episode. But for the final game of this episode, we are going to be playing fourth place Manchester City. So, if you can, try and sit back, try and relax, because I'm not. I am fully sat forward now. I've just realised how close my head is to the camera. And i got a fat head, so that must be taking it a lot. Um, oh, no. My table is broken. Right. Fuck me. Let's go. Right, we are back. And before we get into anything, we're going to have a look at Chelsea's schedule. So they have a game on Tuesday. They've played their game already. They beat Leeds 3-0. 
Then they have a quarter final against Benfica, then Man United, then Tottenham, then Brighton, Fulham, and Middlesbrough. Final two games, I think they've won. Probably Brighton as well. But Manchester United and Tottenham need to do us a favour for us to win the league. <laughs> oh. This is madness. I. Yeah. Don't be worried about Ake. Just run in behind. You're fine. If you've got a fucking pace on him. You've got pace on most players. Pep Guardiola versus myself. Again, I've beaten him before. James Trafford is on the bench. Alex Scott as well, player who I was looking at in the summer to get on loan. Just did it. Kelvin Phillips, another player who I would be interested in. Sort of competition for the CDM role. Um, if we're doing it. But that man up front is the biggest worry of them all. They always love the bit media praising them. Oh, it's just Madison gets into the seat here. Oh, before we do anything. I will break your fucking legs if it has to. I am going to... You're going to be a problem. I swear, is Carl Walker on the bench? He is. I would love to have him as a backup. You're going to have the ball at point, so you are going to be... I'm going to tackle you hard. Madison's going to be a problem as well. Right, I'm going full out. Let's go. Enzo, Nick, Diaz, Enzo. Fuck it. Fuck it out. Nice. Nice. Oh. 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 Piss off. That was absolutely beautiful. They was not offside. Yeah. was absolutely sexual. Uh, Arsenal have sacked their manager as well. Mikel Arteta is gone. They have got European football next season because they won the Carabao Cup. Um, but he is gone. He has been sacked. Surprised Man United haven't sacked their manager either. Um, he's still there. Especially with them being eighth. West Ham are above Man City for fuck's sake. Who is West Ham manager? Fucking Jose Mourinho. David Bar... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this game. I absolutely love this game. It brings madness. And it makes you lose the fucking pot. But I love it. So much better than FIFA. And I play FIFA still. But I love this game. Sound like Patrick Evra. Patrice Evra, not Patrick. 40th minute. Oh, there's a penalty. What for? Graham Scott. Uh, so, Fred, Freddy, Freddy has handled the ball. Diaz. Yes. Come on. Could we win the Premier League? This is fucking mental. This. They should employ me in real life. I should be the. If Ruben Sellers doesn't work out, employ me, Redden. Because what you can see is three years in the Championship, and then we we could then go on and win the Premier League in the first season in there. This is. I don't know. Ruth, Jackson, Ruth. Down the line to Ryan. Crosses it in. Back to his easy shit. Done better with that. That was good blocking there. Fred I got in the way. Come on. Win the first ball. Win the first ball. He does call it. Oh, needed to score that. He had to score that. Lovely play there by Man City. Edison, Haaland. Coman. Oh, they're in. They're in. They're back in. Haaland. 1-1. One, one. Haaland does what Haaland does. And it is 1-1. One, one. Lovely kick out from the back by Edison. That was really good there for Manchester City. We were two points behind Chelsea. We are now four. 
I don't know why I'm really thinking we could win the league. We can't. We haven't got... Oh, my God. <laughs> this is absolute fucking madness. I am so far forward as well. I don't know what to say anymore. I really don't know what to do. Twenty minutes left of this game, and we could end this game two points behind Chelsea. But remember, Chelsea still have Champions League football as well, so they will be playing a lot more games than what we are. And that is a big plus in our favour as well. No, no, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. And City have scored. It's 2-2. Two -two. And a highlight trade from kickoff. <laughs> oh, what a ball there by Savage to Ryan. He takes him out. That is a straight red. That is a straight red card there. It's not a penalty because it's outside the box. But Ryan is injured. Shit. He's been one of our most creative players since he's come in. He's been absolutely fantastic. Pablo with a lovely ball. But is he going to be out for the game? Is he going to regenerate like Wolverine or is he done? He's not regenerating. All right, he has to come out. I can't have him in any longer. Right. Jacob Ramsey can come in. We need something, right? Meet life, you can come on. Oh no. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, thank fuck. Thank you, CBC. Come on, we have got five minutes left. Can we do something? No, that is it. That could be it for us, for us having any chance of winning the league. That sentence is mad, to be honest. But we will be back next episode for a triple header again, uh, where we will be playing Brighton in the semi-final. Uh, we will be playing... Um... And we will... Let's just... I can't remember. Right, so we will be playing Brighton, West Ham, Middlesbrough, and then to end it off, we've got Everton, Norwich, Villa to finish it off as well. Villa have dropped off there. But yeah. This is madness. This is utterly fucking madness for us to even be in this chance. Anyway, thank you guys ever so much for joining me today. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. We love, we care, and I will see you guys for the next episode. <laughs>